It is commonly accepted that Anko Itoso developed the five pin ankata around 1907 for use in the Okinawan school system. What is not clear is whether these were drawn from indigenous Okinawan sources or whether he simply reworked an older Chinese kata called Chanan. According to Choki Motobu, Itosu Anko's Pinan kata are almost the same as the Chanan he knew. When he mentioned this to their author, Itosu Sensei told him, Yes, the kata is slightly different. The students all told me that the name Pinnan is better, so I went along with the opinions of the young people. There are five Pinan kata, and they are believed to have been originated around 1908 by Yasutsuni Itosu Sensei. You have to understand that the movements in the kata are separate and unconnected. In the early part of the Pinnan Shodan Bunkai, there are several tricky areas where it is easy to make mistakes. It's important to remember that whether one side is in Zenkutsudachi and the other side is in natural stance, they have to achieve a degree of balance. Are both in natural stance is just the same. They have to be coordinated one with the other. The Pinnan Kata all have unique and interesting stances. From Pinnan Shodan to Pinnan Godan, each has some special feature that must be studied. 
For example, kosadachi, in which you twist 45 degrees with your feet together. Don't open your legs, keep them closed tight. It is applied like this. In the kata, I block his hand like this. In reality, however, I would attack the joint to maximize the effect of the blow like this. Get up all the direction.